What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So last week I finally got my brand new Mac Mini. This is the one powered by Apple's M1 CPU and with 16 gigs of RAM. And even though the Mac Mini may not be the most powerful machine out there, I feel that the Mac Mini is the one that offers the best performance for your money. And that's the main reason why I decided to get one for myself. As you may be aware, there isn't much that comes in the box with the Mac Mini. So you basically get the computer itself and the power cable. Everything else you kind of have to buy separate or put together yourself. And in a way that's a good thing because this way you can choose the monitor that you want, the keyboard that you want, the speakers that you want, so you can make that setup as customized for your workflow, obviously, so you can make your workflow the best. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I've set up my desk around the Mac Mini so I can make my workflow as efficient and as productive as possible. So everything starts with my desk. This is the most simplistic and the most affordable standing desk that I was able to find and I believe I got this at Ikea a couple of years ago and uh, I've been using it ever since. Now you can also lower this if you want to sit down but personally I've been using this as a standing desk 100% of the time. I never lower this. I find myself much more productive if I actually stand in front of the computer versus if I sit down in front of, of the computer. When I sit down I just get lazier so that's why I use it as a standing desk 100% of the time but keep in mind that your back will hurt if you stand for like 10 hours a day. Alright and we are moving on to the most important part of my setup and that of course has to be my monitor because I look at it for many many hours every single day so it had to be a pretty decent monitor. So what you're seeing behind me is a 32 inch Dell monitor with a 4K resolution. The 4K resolution was pretty important for me because I make videos in 4K and I kind of want to see how those videos look when I'm done with them. Another important factor why I decided to buy this one over a bunch of other monitors that I was researching has to be the brightness. So this one has a maximum brightness of 400 nits where most other monitors that I've looked at um, had a brightness of about 350 nits. The price on this one was also pretty appealing when I got it. I got this right before Black Friday and at that time it was actually lower than most other monitors that I was looking at. So that had a big impact um, on my decision. Not to mention that this one has more accurate colors than a lot of other monitors available on the market. And we also have a variety of ports on the back. And once again, that's pretty important for me. As you may be aware, the new Mac Mini with the M1 CPU doesn't have as many ports available on the back as we used to get to the older Mac Minis that were powered by Intel CPUs. So with this one we have only two USB-C ports. So for that reason I had to use a HDMI um, cable to connect the Mac Mini to my monitor. And uh, when you add that HDMI cable and a bunch of other cables, well it doesn't look that great in the back there because there are just so many cables and there is no way of actually hiding those cables unless I actually position the Mac Mini under the desk. But I don't want to do that because I kind of like how it looks um, on top of the desk. So I don't think I'm, um, I'm going to be able to hide those cables any better than um, they are now. Next to those many many cables behind my monitor I also have three external drives there but let's talk about the first two. So the first two are uh, made by Seagate and each one of them has 8 terabytes of storage. I mostly use these ones to keep my old um, footage so if I film something for a video I'm gonna save all that um, on one of those external drives and then delete it from my Mac Mini because my Mac Mini has somewhat limited um, storage. I only have the version with one terabyte of storage. Now if you don't want to pay Apple an insane amount of money for internal storage you can also add it from an external hard drive and I do this as well. For that you do need a somewhat fast external drive and me personally I use a Samsung T7. To use that you basically open Final Cut Pro X, you make a new library and you just make that library right onto the external SSD and this way you edit everything from the external SSD and makes things much easier and this way you don't have to spend all that money on the internal storage for your Mac Mini for Apple because um, yes as I said Apple does charge some insane money for internal storage. Next we are moving on to the keyboard and of course the keyboard is a very important part of any setup and the keyboard that I have um, is not made by Apple even though it does look like a keyboard that Apple would make. So this is made out of metal we have um, beautiful round white keys but no this is not made by Apple it's made by a company called Colude and this is also a hub so this is not only a keyboard and that's the main reason why I actually use this connected to the Mac mini through a USB-C cable because I plug in a bunch of SD cards in it external hard drives and so on so very important to have um, USB-C connectivity. 
Now, I want to mention that you could use a Bluetooth keyboard on, with your Mac Mini, but in my experience, Macs haven't been doing great with Bluetooth connectivity over the past um, couple of years. I'm pretty sure this is a software problem because um, before that, uh, the Bluetooth connectivity was working fine. But lately, every time you use a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard, um, they tend to get disconnected three or four times throughout the day randomly for no reason. So personally, I cannot deal with that and that's why I use a keyboard basically that's um, connected to the computer itself through a cable. And next to the keyboard, of course, I have the mouse. As for the mouse, I use the Logitech um, MX Master 2S and um, there is a newer model available, but this one works so good that I have absolutely no reason to upgrade. So I've been using this one for about a year and a half now and I have never had any issues with it. I think I had to charge it like four times in the last um, year. So great, great mouse. If you're looking for a good mouse for Windows or Mac, I highly recommend um, the Logitech um, MX Master 2S. And next we are talking about monitors or speakers, depending on your needs for the Mac Mini. Now, I didn't know this before I got the Mac Mini, but the Mac Mini actually has a speaker inside. So if you don't have any speakers or monitors at home, you could potentially use the speaker in the Mac Mini, even though it doesn't sound that great. You can also use some Bluetooth headphones um, with the Mac Mini. So if you have some AirPods, AirPods Pro, those would also work. But if you're like me, you may want some monitors, uh, mostly if you're doing video editing. Personally, I use two JBL monitors. Uh, the model number is 305 and they're both controlled by a Senyal um, passive monitor controller. So very simple setup. And of course, you can also use these for music, not only for video editing, and they do sound pretty good for music and they have plenty of bass. I've been using these ones for about four years, I'm gonna say, or three years or something like that. It was a bit tough getting them here. I got them from the States. Um, thanks, Scott, for helping me. Uh, get them to Canada. So yeah, if you're looking for some um, great monitors, these are um, some that you should consider as well. And lastly, my everything charging machine, even though I find this a bit bulky. So this is called the Pitaka Air Omni and uh, it can charge your phone wirelessly, it can charge your watch wirelessly, headphones, it even has um, two ports on the side uh, for fast charging. It has a little drawer on the side there so you can keep small stuff. But it is a bit um, bulky, but that's the thing that charges my phone every single day. So yeah, this is how my desk is set up around the Mac Mini to make my workflow as good as possible. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.